everybody waiting everyone to join to join us we're waiting for Miss Mariah to join us too hey hi Steven good to see you here here for us to do our own life a little later today so for oh hi Mariah there she is for everyone um, that's gonna join today I wish I, I could know how to how to write the title but basically hi hi Arcazzo <laughs> how are you hi so today we're gonna be talking about how to accelerate your weight loss goals and every other goal for that matter let me just add Mariah here waiting for i feel like we should have like an introductory music like an introduction music or something hi carol hey gorgeous hello <laughs> can you hear me okay yeah no it's perfect i love your hair as usual whoa <laughs> as i kick my laptop across the room <laughs> okay oh thank you steven oh hi mom <laughs> Okay, everyone's joining now. That's awesome. Perfect. I love that intro. Yeah. I feel we, we should have like our own little jingle to start. I know. I thought that's what you were saying. Like a podcast or something. Maybe that's what we should do is a podcast. Oh, yeah. That actually sounds really cool. Weight loss goals. Okay, just writing the title for anyone to, who's going to join us a little later. Perfect. Okay. Hey, David. Okay. All right. I think no, actually, I didn't do that right. I'm I just think do that you again. can pin it. So if you, yes. I think. Nope. I can only report yeah. it. Can't pin it. But I think you can pin it. <laughs> Goals. Let's see. I think I have to. Um, okay. No, I don't see how I can do that. <laughs> we'll okay. Figure it out. Anyway. All right. Anyway. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we're super excited about this topic today because why are we excited? I know why I'm excited. Why are you? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm like insanely excited because I feel like it's <laughs> something a lot of people. It's I feel like it's something everybody knows, but they try to avoid, and they're like, mm -hmm. mm, I don't want to believe that it's true. So I'm just gonna yes. do this other thing. Right, I agree with you 100. percent And I think that I hopefully people, something will click in them as to why they might be struggling or maybe feeling like they're, uh, they're not reaching their goals as fast or as easy as they would like uh, to, for them to achieve them. So how to accelerate your weight loss goals or any goal for that matter. But firstly, we're going to go into what's preventing us from actually achieving our weight loss goals, usually, right? For many of us. Uh, I know that for me it was the case. So for starters, I would say not following the right system, like kind of trying to figure it out on our own uh, can take a lot of time. I don't know about you, but I've been a health nut for many, many years, and it still took me like, the longest time when I tried to do it on my own and um, I made so many mistakes and uh, I, I even like put my health at risk uh, because I was kind of a health nut but I was more more than I was a health nut I was more concerned on just being very very slim right and maybe that was more important at one point than being healthy so I know that I did quite a few mistakes I made quite a few mistakes with that So not following the right system, a proven system, that could be one thing. Is there something that you'd like to add on to that? Not I, Something really similar is like not having a system at all. Just trying to kind right. of guess <laughs> and like, oh, well, this sounds good. I'll try right. a week and we'll see and then change and like keep on changing every single week. So then your body doesn't even have enough time to figure out if right. something actually works for you because you just keep changing it up. But yeah, I think one of the other big things, like two other big things for me were like, accountability and procrastination mm -hmm. so like not having anybody to be like are you actually doing what you said you're gonna do <laughs> or are you just oh my like gosh making yeah. it up are you like 
telling people you're doing it, but really you're eating right. the keto in the back room. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that interesting, though, how we could get all fired up about the theory or what we should think we should be doing differently or what we're excited or what we learned or what we think other people should be doing differently. But then are we doing it? That, that's, that's the good question that I like to ask myself and I like to ask people. Like, um, even if you do know what to do, like, are you doing it? And if not, who's holding you accountable? So accountability definitely is a major key because we're just so much more prone to follow through when we know someone is going to watch us, right? And is going to be like, well, did you follow through on what you did? Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone who's joining yeah, us. Like, hi, Dad. Oh, that's so cool. But my parents are here. Aw. Yeah, I see. Oh, that's so cool. Megan is here. Yeah. And David. Pretty cool. Yay. Um, <laughs> awesome. There was something so, I was going to say, but I forgot what it was already. We're yeah. talking about accountability and follow through? Mm -hmm. Something else the lies? Okay. You'll, oh. you'll remember. Yeah, if it's important, it'll come back to me. But you, oh, you'll remember part, soon enough. Yes, yeah. Another part yeah. was like procrastination and fear. So like being afraid mm. of the change or afraid of being uncomfortable or afraid of, yeah, pain, struggle, afraid of change in general. Like, oh, yes. I don't know if this is going to work like 100%, so I don't really want to change because that's scary. Right. And then we don't, nice. nothing changes. So of course, nothing changes. Exactly, exactly. And we might go through it in our heads like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but and i'm gonna get this results but then like are we doing it that's mm -hmm. something that i lovingly like to ask people um it's not just because i found that it's not so much about uh, a little bit it's about knowing what to do but that's not the entire story yeah. right because mm -hmm. um all of us know that we should be drinking water yeah every day a yeah. lot of it but are we doing it yes right yes. like are we actually doing it so um, accountability just helps a lot with follow through in that way. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that reminds me of what I was going to say. Earlier. Actually, <laughs> yeah. something that you said this morning when we were talking before this, but that yeah. information doesn't guarantee transformation. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. thing. Yeah, <laughs> with business, with relationship, mm -hmm. with your body, with fitness, with everything. Yeah. Like just because you know yeah. what you should be doing doesn't guarantee that you're actually going to do it and get the transformation that you want. Like. Just like we're talking about, like, exactly. if you keep progressing, it's not going to happen. So actually do it. Do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and we know, you know, we live in the era of information. There's information everywhere. We can Google anything. We can YouTube anything. Oh, hi. Hi, Shifara. Shifara. I hope I said your name right. Shifara, please correct me. Um, hi. I'm glad you're excited. So... Um, yeah, so we can find the information everywhere, but that doesn't guarantee that we're going to do it. And, and, you know, for the people that are watching now, I have a question and you can just comment below. Um, what is one thing that would have a big impact on your health, on your energy levels, on your weight loss uh, that you know you should be doing, but aren't doing? Like, you know, it's here or, or here but you're not actually doing it like what's one thing and i'm just yeah just go ahead anyone and, and comment below because i i'm so excited to i'm eager to see what everyone because we all know we all know even to a certain extent maybe we don't we cannot see the entire picture but we know something even just one thing that needs to be a little different yes exactly so yes definitely definitely information does not guarantee transformation yeah. uh and some, yeah and something that you i think you touched on uh, briefly just now uh, or, or the gist that I got from it was like our mindset like maybe strange uh, blocks that we don't mental blocks that we don't even know that we have yeah. right and when we're going at it by ourselves it's like a blind spot that we don't know that we even have it right and maybe we know or, or if we do have it uh, we might not really know how to change it so and, and since we're all about mindset right uh, our mindset guides our actions. Mm -hmm. So if you don't change the mindset, we can force ourselves and take different action. But if we don't change what's here, you know, that's not going to last very long. Yeah. So, and when I say, when, when we say here, accelerate your goals, it's not only the way I see it, it's not only to accelerate them uh, in the moment, like briefly, but also to maintain them. 
yeah. right to get out of the roller coaster or just achieving it and going back and forth like that it's like accelerating and achieving them for life definitely for definitely yeah so i know we were going to talk about our personal stories but i like next yeah. but i feel like something that might be more relevant is i have something specific to say so david just asked he said so i do intermittent fasting and eat very little carbs what do you guys think i want to get a low body fat percentage um okay so i feel like so, this is perfectly like in with what we're talking about today um because like in a sense like we can't really like without getting to know everything that you're doing and everything you're actually doing not just saying that you're doing like it's hard to be able to kind of give a blanket answer of like oh this is what you should do to get a lower body fat quicker um <laughs> right and that mindset part right which is and thank yeah. you thank you bex thank you for sharing that appreciate it <laughs> so I'm, I'm laughing so hard because i know the way that he just said that in real life and how yeah. Oh, you know, his okay. attitude. And so I'm like laughing really hard at that right now. Okay. Um. <laughs> so in terms of what we think, um, I would ask you, like, do you feel it's working for you? Mm -hmm. That would be my question. Like, how do you feel? Yeah. Is that something that's working for you? That's giving you the results that you want? And how are you feeling Definitely. about it? Right. Because um, it varies from person to person. I know that I, I love intermittent fasting. Actually, I absolutely love it. Uh, but it's not going to be the case for everyone, right? Especially if we don't have the right mindset in place first, which is the yes. most important Yes. So th those are my thoughts for you. Thanks. Yeah, for me, a big, there we go, that's what I was actually just going to say, is a big part of it for, like, what I help my clients with is figuring out what actually works for you. So, like, if it's working amazingly for you, cool, then keep doing it. If something stops working, then change it. If low carbs are difficult, but it's working, then, you know, decide for yourself, is that worth it for you? Is it worth it to have low carbs and probably, I'm assuming, low energy or bad moods or things like that with the yeah. low carbs? Or is it not worth it to you and you want more carbs and you need to figure out a different way to change things up? To right. And for how long, right? For mm -hmm. how long are you doing it? Because I know that um, before my, when I had like a wacky, uh, means to an end mindset i was actually doing intermittent fasting and very and practically no carbs and practically no calories either so i was basically starving myself at that point so um it was too extreme for me to do it that way yeah. um though my but that's also part of why i add in for how long because of course little carbs you can just decrease your carbs you can uh, increase your carbs uh, depending on the day yeah. and you can do cycling or something like that but I would say yeah basically is it working for you right now how are you feeling yeah yeah and you can change things based on how you feel and then that I think leads into like the whole purpose of us chatting here today is that yeah. as you guys can see with what just happened like the quickest way to accelerate your results is by getting a coach, getting somebody who's done this, who's done it themselves, who's helped other people, yeah. who knows, oh, okay, this isn't working for you, well, then let's try these 30 different options over the next year or however long we work <laughs> together and, like, see right. what your body actually wants because everybody's different. So even though there are so many amazing programs out there, it's really, really yeah. hard to customize stuff when everybody's totally different. And, yeah, it's the same for business. You have to have a different business coach to get things done Quicker. Oh my gosh! Yes, and I wanted to to actually, since we're starting to tell about coaches, I actually I have a coach, right? Mm -hmm. I have a coach, um, and I have an accountability partner, so I know for firsthand how important it is. Yes. Um, the too. the mindset, right? The mindset of like, let's I can do it by myself. I can do everything by by myself. So if anyone is watching who feels like this, I want to lovingly, with all of my love, ask you. Is it working, right? Mm -hmm. Doing it on your own. Is it working in the way that you like it? And is it giving you results? And is it giving you long lasting results? Because a coach can help you with that because that's the coach's sole purpose. A coach's purpose is your success. That's it. That's it. It's, an it's a person entirely focused on your success. So you want to ask yourself, Am I, I'm just going to do it by myself and uh, I'm going to see what happens and I got this. Is it working? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it is, awesome. If it stops working, right. 
who can you reach out to? Like, do you have coaches in mind? Do you have friends who are willing to help you? Like, know all of that stuff. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, the, the interesting thing is that with coaching and mentorship, like, if we think about the most successful people in the world, the most successful athletes, actors, entrepreneurs, the people that you admire, the celebrities that you admire the most, they have coaches, mm-hmm. okay? Whether those are fitness coaches, health coaches, singing coaches, acting coaches, business coaches, coaches. I guarantee you they have a team working for them. Now, it doesn't, the fact that we don't live their lifestyle necessarily doesn't mean that, oh, it's, it just works for them, but not, I don't need that. Well, you maybe don't need like an entire team necessarily, but a person that is going to be solely focused on your success is going to help you achieve your goals that much faster than doing it by your own. There's a saying that says something like, if you want to, I think it's if you want to go far, Mm -hmm. go alone or fast, go or something. Maybe maybe I would share that. Maybe I would share that. Yeah, it's if you want to go fast, (laughs) go alone. If you want to go far... Yeah. I don't remember what yeah. that one is. It's if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, yeah. go together, I think it is. Or, like, go with a team, go with people. Yeah. You're not going to get super far by yourself, like, no matter what it is. I, actually, I, I would actually modify that. And I would say if you want to go far and fast, then, you know, go accompanied, go guided, go coached. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With others. Yeah. Yeah. And I see so, that... David has other questions, so maybe, like, message us after this and we can talk more specific stuff. Or maybe hire one of us as your coach and get it all figured out that way. <laughs> oh, hi, Francesca. Hi. Oh, oh you love pasta. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I forgot. On the yeah. pasta note, I'm like, there are so many amazing gluten-free pastas nowadays. Like, and yes. friends. Like, you don't have to cut that stuff out anymore. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. In fact, I, I want to give you a suggestion because uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm highly gluten intolerant. I cannot have not even like this of gluten at all. So if I'm going to have any pasta, I just have. Francesca, I hope you're still watching and listening. Uh, I have brown rice pasta, um, which is going to have a slower uh, insulin response on your body than, than white Pasta is going to be a little bit better. Uh, there is black bean pasta that is delicious. There's lentil pasta. Um, yeah, basically anything. You can actually make your own with some zucchini and just like a spirally thingy. I don't even know how that's called. But uh, there's so many options. You just need to substitute the ingredients. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. Yes. 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 Accountability is a very good point. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Glad you agree. Glad you agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, I think we're going to go into our stories. Do you want to? Do you want to share your own? Sure. Yeah. We will do that. Yes. I think we're at about like eighteen minutes so far. Just what? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know we always get off track, so I thought that I, would I can't go believe ahead. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Basically, for me, I just like yo-yo dieted ever since I can remember. Like the person that I was just describing, who would do a diet for a week and then switch to another one. That was me. That's why I brought that up because I would like do something for a week and then be like, Oh no, this isn't working. Let me try something totally different. No, nope, that's not working. Let me try this one. And they were mm-hmm. always like fairly extreme. And then I started kind of getting coaching through one of the, like, nutrition shops, the local nutrition shops. They did, um, I think first they did, like, a college-free special, so you could go in for a couple of weeks, and they would help you figure out all of your nutrition stuff. So I did that for a little while, and then I started paying for it, and then Arbonne came out with their nutrition program, and I was totally just like, meh, that's probably not, like, a real thing. And then once I started getting coaching on that, I was like, oh, this makes sense. Like, it actually makes sense now. And I, again, had a ton of other coaches and accountability buddies and people to help me do what I said I was going to do and not just blow it off. So yeah. I feel like... And super, you have such a... So for what? I was going to say, so I feel like super condensed, that's my story. <laughs> yes, and you have such a great transformation. I mean, you're, you've transformed your skin, you've transformed your body. Like, everyone needs to... I think you have that picture on your Instagram, so everyone needs to go... And check out uh, Mariah's transformation pictures Aww. on her Instagram. Um, so, would you say that you've achieved at least many of your health goals since you've got coaching? 
Definitely many of them. And I, honestly, I was going to say, I think the biggest one for me has been mindset because mentally I was nowhere near, I guess, like ready to achieve all the things that I have before I got coaching because there is absolutely no way that I could have done it all just being the person that I was like three years ago. Like it just, I know all of this would not have happened. I wouldn't have been open to different things. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. once you change something, then other things change too. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. So, um, with me, you know, long story short, I know you come from a background of, we've talked about this, of cheerleading, right? Mm -hmm. So I come from a background of modeling and beauty pageants. So definitely I have felt the pressure um, in the past, uh, I did really extreme diets, mm -hmm. um, starving myself. Uh, I was barely eating for, and I still didn't get trying to do it by myself, obviously, because no one else in their right mind would have agreed with me. Um, so, and basically I never got the results I wanted anyway, and they didn't last, mm -hmm. right? They lasted maybe for like a day, <laughs> maybe five days and then I was back into my old self and mindset, 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 mindset. That was definitely the, the first thing. Um, and so by getting coached and that might surprise some people because they might believe, well, if you have, uh, if you're able to achieve a certain weight or maybe they, they see the results now that I get, but it's a hundred percent or in large part due to me getting coached, right? A, a lot so and now I'm I really am able to maintain my weight very easily and just more focus on, on strength training and maybe you know it's it's very it's relatively easy now that I know what to do and that I have support and that I have accountability and that I've changed my mindset and um, it all helps me to help other women right so yeah Definitely. that's, that's my story in short Definitely. I was just saying, I know you have some transformation pictures on your page too. And I feel like just the way that you present yourself, like it's really obvious to tell, you know, like that you went through this transformation and that like you've gone from the extreme diets and being like underweight and like going back and forth and like finding mm -hmm. the perfect balance for you. And I think that's yeah. another really awesome thing to be able to see in a coach. So like, Go check out your page. That's what we're on right now. Yeah, like, go look at all of your stuff for the people who haven't interacted with you before because, like, yeah, it's just really inspiring. And I don't know. I feel like it's well, really helpful to be able to see what other people can accomplish. Right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, because, you know, never judge someone by where they are now, right? We never know their background. We never know what they've been through. And so I'm, I'm glad that that this story is inspiring and yours is inspiring to me too and hopefully for other people as well and the cool thing is that both of us ha that have achieved uh, a certain amount of our goals right for me still a journey right I, I still want to set more of my goals but the main goals like now it's kind of easy now I can just go uh, about it in a relaxed way right in a relaxed way it's not a big deal I'm not going up and down in my weight anymore it's, it's actually kind of fun and so now we can help more people and uh how far along are we on time now by the way i believe around 23 okay so <laughs> do you want <laughs> do you want to share some stories or should we like wrap it here oh, some of your playing stories yeah I, I guess for the three people <laughs> who are on right now what would you guys like would you guys like to hear any of our personal clients transformation stories and just what we've helped our clients achieve or do you guys feel like we kind of covered that with answering the questions earlier yeah um, I, think I think we did I think, I so think we did yes so I'm so glad that this that we're putting this out there um our personal stories or personal struggles and knowing what actually works yeah. that's why I think we're so excited and passionate about what we do like what it, because we've seen our own transformation and we've seen transformation in other people. And here's the thing, when you help yourself, you're able to help other people also, rather than when you're struggling, you're not really going to be able to help others in the way that you can when you're uh, coach in a sense or beautiful stories. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shapara. Thank you. And that thank you. That's that, nice. That even made me think that like when you're feeling your best, like, so when, you have a coach and you're accomplishing all these things, you feel better. Yeah. Like, your self-esteem is a lot higher. 
everything feels good like within you so then you're going to be giving that out to all the people around you all of your family and friends they're going to see how much happier you are and how much better you're feeling and everything and it, it does impact a lot more people than I think we acknowledge sometimes so it really does difference. It really does, and when you are, you are able to see that you accomplish goals, and that you and that you have someone to support and guide you and hold you accountable, and then be like, oh shoot, I actually did this, like I actually did this and maintain it, that opens up a whole new world because now you feel, oh, I accomplished this. What else can I do? And you can yes. go and conquer the world and just stay awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So anyone, feel free to reach out to us uh, any questions that you have if you're watching the replay uh, please let us know what you want us to talk about next both of us are coaches both of us can help you get what you want so stay tuned on um, everything that we're going to continue to share because we really like to do this and keep helping people uh, and so thank you so much for joining us I hope this helped get a coach get mentorship and accelerate your weight loss Everybody, Top across the room. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what we do, like what, because we've seen our own transformation and we've seen transformation in other people. And here's the thing: when you help yourself, you're able to help others. Both of us can help you get what you want. So stay tuned on um, everything that we're going to continue to share because we really like to do this and keep helping people. Uh, and so thank you so much for joining us. I hope this helped. Get a coach, get mentorship, and accelerate your weight loss goals and any goal that you have. Definitely. Okay? Yes. Yay. And in case that's obvious enough, what we're saying is if you've been waiting to get a coach, now is your time. So reach out. This is your sign. <laughs> yes, this if you've been waiting sign. for a sign, this is it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you, Mariah. Thank you so much, girl. Oh, that was thank awesome. Thank you. I love doing these. Yeah, me too. Me too. Eager to do our next one. So remember, guys, just ask us what you want us to talk about next. And thank you so much for joining or for watching the replay. Bye. Bye.